day trading is so difficult because one day everything is going so well and the next day everything flips upside down today is definitely the most difficult day for me to accept as a funded futures trader with prop firms not the most difficult day of my trading career but as far as the funded phases go of these prop firms definitely the most difficult day to accept now i'll show you guys what happened and try to explain it the best i can i'm at loss for words so i'm going to try to keep this video short and uh, we just got to move on from it. So basically, there's a lot of issues going on with Rhythmic, with Tradeavate. All these prop, prop firms have issues with their connections or with the platforms itself. And today, I was the victim of it. And I have no proof of it besides just my word. And I had no screen recording of it, so it sucks. But I also found an example from Patrick Wheeland on Tradeavate. So on Tradeavate, I've seen this happen quite a lot. But basically, when I entered a trade and then my target got filled, I didn't see that it got filled. So I was trying to close the trade manually. And then I actually will show you kind of an example here. So that way it's a little easier to understand what I mean. So the market pre-market is like this, right? So then I have this strategy that I use. It doesn't matter what it is, but basically... I've been trading this strategy for the last 16 days. I haven't lost a single day in the morning at the open as the first trade with this system. So I love it. And I was getting really excited because this account was at 3.8K. So 3.8K of profit as of this morning after this trade was done. It was 3.5K as of the morning before the open. But after this trade was done, it was 3.8K. So it was a very healthy account because I already withdrew from it. But anyway, the point of the strategy is, you know, I entered on a opening range break. And when I go long, I use a stop market order to go long. And then once I do get filled into that trade, a automatic target order is placed. So the price does exactly what I want. I choose whether I want to go short or long based on the action pre-market. And then uh, sometimes I, I miss it initially and I redo it, but it doesn't matter. Today was a perfect read. The market rips through my order. So I go long. Then my profit target is there. It rips through my profit target and then the price keeps ripping. And then I'm still in the trade. And this seemed forever. I wish I had a recording so I could see how long this took. I would say 30 seconds. But when the market ripped through, I was up quite a lot on the position, maybe two or three times more than I wanted or where my target was. And then when the price started to pull back aggressively, I wanted to get out to make sure that I don't turn a winning trade into a losing trade because this should have been a winner. And many times the market will rip through and then pull right back and, you know, you get caught. And I didn't want that to happen and I had no control over it. I was pressing close positions and pressing all the buttons to uh, get out of the trade and nothing was happening. So then this happened like that. So then eventually, maybe 30 seconds or so later, I actually did end up getting filled in there. So when the price went through, I did get filled on this price because it shows you what candle I got filled on on the execution. So I did get filled there, but it didn't tell me that I got filled there. So there was a delay between the platform and the actual execution so when that price was pulling back i was entering short thinking that i'm selling this long position i was actually entering into a short and then when i did actually get filled there or when it showed me that i got filled there i got relieved because i was up 300 which is exactly what i'm looking for and that's it right and that was it and then i am also trading stocks and my stock strategy is also based on the open so i'm looking at two different things and as soon as I filled this trade, I moved on to my stock um, monitor and I was basically done trading futures for the morning. And of course, a few seconds later, maybe another 30 seconds, I get that you know notification that I got filled into a trade. And I was like, what the hell is happening? Why am I in the trade? I look over the prices up here and I am short 10 contracts down below at the same price that I covered or that I sold my position is when I got short again. And I was down a lot when I noticed. I was down huge. But let me show you guys an example of that on 
on this video here. So this is Patrick Wieland. I'm sure you guys know who that is. And I've seen this happen on TraderVay. And if you trade with TraderVay or with TopStep, TraderVay or TS Trader, same thing, basically, you'll notice this issue. And it's pretty quick. But for me, this took about 30 seconds. But notice this. So the price goes through his order. The order is still out. And then it takes a couple of candles for the order to actually show up. So for me, the price ripped through it. And then it um, it was pulling back. But this was, you know, this is a few seconds. For me, it was like 30 seconds difference. Now, I shouldn't have done anything. I should just waited. That was the solution. Or I should have hit flatten, flatten all instead of close all. Because if you hit close, apparently... It will still, I don't know the difference. I got to look it up. I got to do it on demo or something to understand the difference between closed positions and flattened positions. Because I don't think I hit sell, but maybe I did hit sell position. I have no idea. But basically, I reached out to Top Step, I mean, uh, to Apex, because this is with Apex account. And they said, unfortunately, orders can get blown through, especially at the open when, the vol when it's the most volatile. And hitting close more than once can cause the market to think that you're entering a trade uh, multiple times. So number one is the order didn't get blown through. Order actually got filled. It's just it didn't display it. So I have no idea um, what caused this, whether um, it was Rhythmic, whether it was Quant Tower. I had R Trader Pro open maybe. I don't know if I did. I had a copy trader, so this ended up making me lose a couple of evaluations as well. So it was just very, very frustrating. Um, Frustrating day, but yeah, I definitely got filled right on the right at the um right at the initial move because it was only 14 seconds in this trade, and then about um 21 seconds later is when I entered short. So so none of that was displayed for me until way later. So um so it's quite quite frustrating, and um and it is what it is. But we'll move on from it. Got to redo all new evaluations and uh, and yeah, I hope you guys understand. I have no reason to make this up. So if I lost the accounts regular way, I will let you know. But um, when I took this loss, I was already below the maximum or the minimum threshold. That's why I continued to trade it. And, um, and I ended up losing the account. I just don't have an edge for some reason later on after the morning. So after the morning, you know, opening range i would say last first 30 minutes but obviously i was already mentally kind of unstable at that point because i didn't know what the hell happened um it happened to me again actually on evaluations because i purchased more evaluations after this happened because obviously i got to restart and do all that stuff uh, but basically it happened again where i was copy trading i got long so i got long into a position nothing copy traded and then when I got sold, when it hit my target, then the copy account went short and the price kept going higher. So I was like, oh, great. Now what? Eventually the price came back break even. I got out break even. But like those little things is what could kill you in this market. And um, especially when you're trading size. So I trade size because the risk is so low on these accounts, you know, um, and I'm already profitable with withdrawals, so it's it's fine, but it's crazy. Um, I'm trading my live account with Top Step, and I also have like actual funded account with stocks. So I'm still trading live, still making some money, but um, it's going to be annoying because this was the, uh, the account that I was expecting to get a payout from at least two more times because it was at 3.8K. So after I exited this trade, I looked at the P&L, it was up 3.8K total. Um, and then a few seconds later, I get into a trade and I look up and it's already only down to one point something K. Um, so yeah, that's it. On to uh, the next one. We'll keep you guys posted. Let me know how you guys did. If you had any issues, I know a bunch of people had issues on Ninja Trader as well. And uh, I just showed you an example with Patrick's video. So that's exactly what happened to me. And, um, and from now on, I'm going to record my screen because... It is what it is, but it's not fair. And I think we need to be able to trust these 
firms and these connections. And right now we just can't. There's so many issues. So, all right, guys. I'll talk to you later.